it's uh, very appropriate that the word of this evening is green because I'm looking very green and I'm <laughs> a green speech maker, verdant speech maker. <coughs> at one of the first meetings I attended here at Toastmasters as a guest, one of the items discussed at table topics was defining yourself and not having other people define who you are. I found that very interesting. I was christened Carol, first name, and middle name. And I'm not quite sure when it happened, but I guess it's during the school years and registration system, the middle name, Anne, was dropped and I became Carol. And looking back, I seem to have always been defined by others. I was born the second child of five children, and I was always Fred Mann's daughter or Phyllis's sister, and then I was married very young. And I became Derek's wife and Ruth and Karen's sister-in-law. Then as a mother, I became, well, Matthew's mom. I was born October 29th <coughs> and making me a Scorpio. And in astrology, one of the negative traits of uh, people falling under the zodiac symbol of Scorpio is apparently secrecy. We like to keep our thoughts and feelings to ourselves which is, in one sense, why I didn't mind being defined by others, because I could keep my thoughts and feelings to myself. However, turning 50 is hard to keep a secret. <laughs> I grew up in a rural community just outside St. John's, and as mentioned, the second oldest of five children. And I could always go unnoticed in the family, because my oldest sister was always testing the boundaries with my parents, and my younger siblings always needed attention and assistance. As a child, I was a real tomboy. Didn't like playing with Barbie dolls, but I loved a good game of ball. Riding an old bike down one of the paved roads in our community and letting go to handlebars, well, that was a bit of a thrill. And I never, it never occurred to me that I couldn't do whatever I wanted, which was also included anything a boy could do. The school we attended was a community school, and everybody knew everybody else, and the teachers knew the kids and their families, so it was as familiar as being home. In grade school, the race in first, second, and third place, I always kind of came in there and achieved academically, but I, I, I was just lucky, really. Then came junior high school. We found ourselves being bused to town, to a larger school in a bigger city. It was grade seven, and I was 12. Now, when a girl turns 12, her life takes a bit of a turn itself, both physically and emotionally. And I found that that year was a turn. Not only was I in unfamiliar territory, but I found myself wondering about myself, why I was feeling the way I was feeling, and how come I felt like crying a lot, and why I can't go play ball with the boys like I always could, and why were the boys look, looking at me kind of funny? <laughs> happy-go-lucky tomboy, all I wanted to do was fade into the background, not be noticed, and certainly not talk about it, that Scorpio secrecy trait. So on that fateful day in English class when Mrs. Gillingham called on me to read page one from the lesson of the day, I choked. I suddenly became so self-conscious, I couldn't think. My tongue thickened, my throat closed over, my eyes welled up, and I felt like I wanted to faint. I couldn't speak, and everybody in class just looked at me, and I wish things were different. I wished I had handled things differently that day, and maybe even laughed at all. But I didn't, and I couldn't, and from that day on, I have not been able to speak in public. And when you get older, people just automatically assume you can do things, and being able to speak in public when called upon is something that they automatically assume you can do at 50. With me when called upon, unfortunately, I regress back to that 12-year-old self-conscious girl sitting in the classroom. And my tongue thickens and my throat closes over, and I just get that feeling again. Another uh, trait of a Scorpio, and a more positive one, is that even when they appear self-controlled and calm, there's a seething intensity of emotional energy under that placid exterior. So as a Scorpion should, I try to appear self-controlled. But the reason I'm here and at Toastmasters is so that I can say goodbye to that 12-year-old self-conscious student and in future be able to stand up before a group of people and speak. Not only appearing self-controlled and calm, but being so and defining myself. I may even 
take back the name, <laughs> Carol Ann. <laughs>